Hey, what's going on guys? Bonavar here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a good day today. Last serious video to, for uh, for this one. I, I got my two news topics off my chest. Wanted to talk about it, so I appreciate if you guys watched it. But last serious video uh, for this one. Uh, we're going to talk about the fake Call of Duty community, man. We're going to be talking about the fakesters, you know, the clowns at least. Uh, from what I'm seeing for the Call of Duty community. And the, the, these people are the overhypers, the overhype people for Call of Duty content. Uh, with, you know, season two dropping, or at least a trailer dropped today, and there was a little bit of buildup leading up to it, like a couple days ago. Little gifts here and there, Treyarch had dropped, little gifts. And uh, you know what? That, that completely rubbed me the wrong way. Like, I, I get it being excited for something, but you've already been burnt out. Like, you've already been burnt before by Cold War. It was a game that wasn't wasn't ready to be released. Um, they're trying to get caught up on everything. Skill-based matchmaking is still a big issue. But you have these clowns. You have these people that are just not genuine whatsoever. And you see the reactions of like, Oh my god. Oh! It's the Cold War! It's season two! It's gonna be the best ever! It's gonna... Oh! It's gonna make the game so much better! It's... This is the real game's release. <laughs> and you're seeing reactions of that with season two. It, it, it's, it's just about the most goofiest thing. Like, look, you can be genuine. You can be gen You can give your honest opinion. I think I think people would be more respectful for people to give their honest opinion. Instead of overhyping things and overbuilding things up, I think that's the one thing about season two that I've seen so much about. Uh, the past couple of days, Treyarch releases some gifts. You see people overhyping it. The uh, trailer hasn't even been released yet. Several days ago, when gifts were being released out and, and shown on Twitter, people were overhyping it, going, and I'm just like over here, like, what? what? <laughs> people still play Cold War? Uh, apparently, it's still like, uh, uh, what was this? Treyarch or Activision release numbers, or maybe it was in Charlie Intel, said that Activision says that Cold War is like the most sold or most you know money cosmetic you know transaction thing of of all of the entire series it's like jesus christ like, come on man are we serious the game's not finished the game has terrible skill-based matchmaking they're trying to keep up they're trying to they're trying to get back to where it's supposed to be uh <laughs> this i thought was funny gun game is coming back to cold war <laughs> you guys remember do you guys remember when Call of Duty is released with all the game with all the game modes and stuff like that? I do. I remember. Hell, you know what? Modern Warfare 3, at least when it comes to Call of Duty games, had so much content, so many game modes, so many this and that, that it's funny to know that like nowadays, like people are overhyping that, that gun game's coming back. Gun game's coming back, guys! Yeah! Woo! Fun! How many people play Gun Game? Probably not that many, but it should be included in the game because it was back in the day. A lot of game modes were included back in the day, but apparently it's just not the thing anymore to do with uh, Call of Duty video or Call of Duty video games. I don't know, man. I look, I, I've just gotten to the point where I've just gotten so tired of it. I, I really have. Look, if it was a good game, great game. Uh, there wasn't anything to complain about with skill-based matchmaking. It felt like you had a fair, fun experience. Um, and you didn't feel like you were getting conned out of uh, cosmetic items for how much they charge for stuff like that. Um, you know what? I could understand the hype. I could understand people getting excited for it. I could understand people being excited for the next drop of, of new content to Cold War and stuff like that. It's not like that whatsoever. It's not like we already know exactly what Cold War has in store. And we already know exactly what Cold, or with Activision's going down. They're wanting to have Warzone be... The, the the main the, the main event they're the 6v6 ground war zombies eh, that's sideshow stuff man then nobody really gives a damn about that stuff war zones where it's at and that's where they're gonna be putting their focus in these next call of duty games but man oh man i just I, I just wish people would be more genuine i really do i really wish that people would give their opinion about it and and look i understand that look there's some of these content creators that probably have contracts or probably have you know these different deals with uh activision or whatnot to where you know you can't say anything negative or you can't you can't actually give your honest opinion but i mean like honest, dude i i just i don't understand the overhypeness of it i really don't you don't even know exactly what you're walking into like you've already bought in the game you already know exactly what the base game season one uh experience is like you know what the skill-based matchmaking is you know it's not a fair uh, fair fun experience and now you'll see videos like, oh man, season two, it's going to make the game so much better. Oh, I'm so excited for season two. It's going to be amazing. Oh my God. The hype, the intensity. Oh! Like, come on, man. <laughs> this, 
this is uh, this is the thing with, with look. I'm giving you my honest opinion. I, we're having a little fun with it. I'm a little, I'm shooting the shit right with the guys. But honestly, look, you're not going to get a genuine opinion. I think if you're, some people you are. I think there's some people out there, some call, 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 content creators out there, that are going to give you their honest opinion. Pretty entertaining, pretty voiceful, pretty, uh, you know what, uh, on the edge, uh, but very honest, I think. I, I don't know. To me personally, it's very honest opinion. I think you're gonna, there, there's going to be some people out there that – you're not going to get an honest opinion about it. And that's going to be the people that are overhyping stuff. Overhyping stuff that you know that you just like, eh, you know what, I think I might wait. I think I might wait just to hold my reserves. And that's the thing that with me is that I've seen the experience that Modern Warfare gave us, seen the experience that Cold War gave us, and even with this news, and we'll probably do it in a different video, about this leak, and I don't know if it's true or not, about, act, or about Sledgehammer maybe doing another world war ii game and it's like who the fuck is asking for that it's like i and i really hope it's not true like that, like that's the thing i hope it's not true i hope that sledgehammer is not making a world war ii game like look you got battlefield 6 coming out here in a little bit um god i hope it's good i really do i hope battlefield 6 just fucking sinks call of duty um but i mean good lord I, I, I just, I don't get it. I really don't get it. I mean, I'm, 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 try, I'm trying to sit here and understand it. You want to build hype for something. I, okay, you want to build hype for something. It's something that, that surrounds your content creator kind of type of, uh, of work and whatnot. Okay, I can see that. I, I can see that building the hype for it. But is it genuine? Is it something that you have maybe have a different opinion about it? Maybe you have a different opinion about it. Like, you know what? I probably got burnt out. Been burnt out, but I guess I have to give my opinion and build this hype up for it. I don't know, man. L look, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I feel like at least when if you're giving me your honest opinion, if you're being genuine, I respect that a little bit more. I respect if you're going to be honest and genuine about the, the opinion that you have about a video game. If it's good, tell me it's good. If it's bad, tell me it's bad. I, I respect that a little bit more than building up something for Cold War Season 2. We don't know what's in it. We we know what we've been dealt with in the past. None of the issues with the game are going to be changed. None of the issues with weapons, skill-based matchmaking, whatever it might be, it's not going to change. Not going to change whatsoever. You're going to add another coat of paint to the dog turd that's sitting on the floor and it's not going to change anything. So I, I've gotten to the point now where I'm just so tired to get onto Twitter and see any time that somebody's trying to build up hype for something. And I just kind of take a step back and go, I think you're full of it. I, I, like, I, it's funny to know that, I, you know, you get on Twitter uh, and you, you see this, you know, trailer release and you look through the comments and I think you, you, you look through the comments of people saying, you know what, this is effed up. You need to fix this, blah, blah, blah. But then you have people like, over hyping it and you can tell it's not genuine you can tell it's not honest i you know what i love thunder thunder was really funny on on twitter when he was <laughs> building build that hype up for gun game coming in but i mean you've ha we've had game modes like that like this is the stupidest thing about cold war there were so many score streaks so many things that were added in the game that were that were planned on release new score streaks there was like 17 17 to 18 19 20 you know score streaks in the game then before release they nix like half of them give you some score streaks and then they just trickle in score streaks throughout the seasons gun game coming in season two new weapons being added <laughs> but why 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 am i why am i gonna get excited for it when you've already you, you're already hiding content that was was supposed to be released with the game and it's not a fun engaging experience by any means i don't know maybe it is for some people but damn it man i really wish people would just be genuine i, I want people to be honest genuine people when it comes to a game but i think you just have these certain amount of people that are just like oh man it's the greatest game ever can't wait but you know exactly what experience it is. So why are you building it up? I don't know. All right. Well, guys, just wanted to shoot the crap with you. Want to talk about it. Season two is coming to Cold War. I don't care. Don't play Cold War. Um, I don't even play Call of Duty. I haven't played a Call of Duty game in a while. I usually just show um, some footage. Some footage I already have stored up for it. But 
at this point, I don't even care, man. I don't care. It's not a fun experience waiting for Battlefield 6. God, I hope Battlefield 6 is good, man. I don't know about you, but I literally cannot wait for Battlefield 6. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about genuine people? Do you want an honest, genuine opinion? Or do you just want somebody to blow smoke up your butt? I don't know, man. I want honest, but anyway, that's just me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please have a great rest of the day, and I look forward to talking to you guys all next time.